Hey everyone, Oz Konar here with uh, Business Lending Blueprint. Um, I know you're kind of getting used to the different terms and abbreviations and phrases when it comes to the stimulus, different packages that's being released and you know information from so many different sources. You might be kind of confused what the heck is going on and how do you, how do you get money, right? So it's very important. Um, so our, we have the largest community of business loan brokers in the United States. Uh, and that's why I just released a new training for my members in, in the community. Um, and I wanted to come out and talk to you guys about the different packages and how you can take advantage of it at different levels. Um, so this video, uh, let me qualify it a little more. This video is not about me showing you how to fill out the application and all that stuff, um, but more about distinction, distinctions of different programs and how time is of essence, how you need to act fast as fast as possible to claim um, your, the, the given right by the government for you to receive or receive the help that you need uh, because of what we're going through right now. It's like crazy times. First of all, I, I hope that you and your family is safe and you make, you make, you get through this as safe as possible. Uh, and uh, my heart goes out to those who are have been fighting with this every single day, our healthcare professionals and anyone who's working really, really hard to help Help other people, and I know that in our community, a lot of a lot of our brokers are are just working every single day to help small business owners. So I want to kind of jump in and go through a couple of um, the things that, were, that that are released that that you can claim, you can apply, and receive the funds for, and how that can benefit you if you choose to become a business loan broker. So in the past couple of weeks, we heard a package is, was going to be released, a stimulus package for. Uh, for $2 trillion, and now a portion of that is going to be released through um, something called, I'm going to look at my notes here every once in a while because there's just a lot of terms here, the Economic and Injury Disaster Loan Application. You might have heard of that before. That's pretty much an application, a loan application if you're some type of consultant or a business owner, whether you're a sole prop, LLC, corporation, you can apply to that and that qualifies you for a loan. But the little catch is whether you are qualified, whether you're approved for a, a, a stimulus loan or not, you are automatically uh, put in a pot to qualify for $10,000. And when you apply, there's a little tick box that you can check off if you want to be considered for that. So that's $10,000, pretty much it's an advance that's given against the loan that you might be receiving as a part of this application. But regardless, even if you're rejected, as far as we know at this point, you still receive it as a forgivable grant, pretty much that you don't really need to pay it back if you um, take advantage of the forgivable part of this pretty much. Um, the challenge with this is, this is first come first serve with the amount of people that we have in the United States, um, we're gonna run out of the money. So it's not gonna be available for everybody. So if you're serious about receiving this $10,000 advance, uh, money that's totally forgivable and probably, again, things do change every single day. As of now, probably you won't have to pay back. It's pretty much free money. I suggest that you take action and apply as soon as possible so you get this. Yes, as a part of the stimulus, the first stimulus package was about sending $1,200 per person and $500 per kid. For most of the people, depending on your income bracket, for most of the people in the U.S., they, they, they will be getting the full amount. That's nice and dandy, but of course, in comparison to getting 10000 I will take 10000 all day long because the 1200 per person package is, is going to be only once, and this is $10,000 plus you may qualify for additional funding, So, which is an amazing opportunity, but it's very, very time sensitive because the amount of amount they... Um, they spared for this one is going to be enough for like a million Americans. And the expected number of applications is around 40 million. So when you kind of do the math, well, many people will not get it unless you are within that first million uh, people. Again, they might add more funds to this. We don't really know. I'm operating with the knowledge that we have strictly from the government website, the SBA.go. Uh, so that's what I suggest you do too. But I wanted to give you some kind of little insight on that one. So you can definitely, if you act fast, you can get that $10,000, which can help you with a lot of things. Obviously, granted, you're using it towards your business. Um, the second part is, which is which recently uh, are, uh, came out and the details are still being figured out and you can at this point apply, 
is the um, payroll one. So the payroll protection program that's designed for businesses with employees. And as we know, because of what's happening right now, um, unemployment rates will go up. People will start, they already are starting to fire people like go people. And, um, you know, um, same thing is going to happen. They're going to be more of that. People are going to be let go. They're not necessarily going to be fired, but, you know, they're going to be laid off for that. So what happens is, of course, the government does not want that to happen. They want to have some kind of package that protects the employment of these employees and will help the business owners because business owners will have to let them go if they're not operating their business, right? How can you pay employees when your employees are not really working? So it's not going to work. For that reason, they came up with a package and payroll protection program allows employ employers with uh, employees to claim up to 2.5 times of their monthly payroll. Of course, that money is to be used towards um, covering payroll, covering the, the rent, covering the mortgage insurance. So pretty much designed to keep you operational. Uh, so details of that program is still being figured out. But you know, if you know someone or if you yourself have a business with employees and you don't want to let them go, you still want to be able to pay that, I highly suggest that you apply to that program as well. So those are like the two main programs. Um, the SBA has other programs, the SBA uh, loan that you can apply towards, but I'll tell you then in the next couple of days, the system will be overwhelmed by a number of applicants to receive the $10,000. Of course, only the ones who know about this, right? Um, and also the pay, uh, payroll protection program. Uh, so before we go any further, if you like the content I provide in this channel, I keep forgetting this uh, and I'm always reminded, like uh, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you're, you're notified when I release new content. And if you really like the content of this video, just hit, hit, the, hit the like icon, please, and like this video. It's appreciated. Um, so that's great, right? So you, you, ha you have access to a lot, a lot of money and almost all of them are like free money. Um, some of them you'll have to pay it back. Uh, but, you know, with the way things are going right now, um, there's going to be deferments. And at some point, there, there, you can be forgiven from paying that as long as you use it for certain things, like the qualifications are within the website, obviously. Um, but I, as I said in the beginning, I just released a new training for my members in the community. So instead of just being on the receiving end of this, how can you be a business loan broker and also take advantage of this? So you are the one reaching out to so many businesses out there and helping them get this type of funding. And while you're doing that, you're handsomely compensated. Because let's be honest, these programs might or might not be a good fit for you. So if it is not a good fit or if it's a partial good fit for one of them or maybe two of them, um, however amount they're giving away might not even apply to you. But you still wanna make a living out of this and take advantage of this and how do you do that? Well, you do that by being a business loan broker so you know the details of how you can help other businesses. Um, some of them might have 10, 15, 20 employees or some of them, they maybe just formed their businesses a couple of months ago. Some of them are just maybe they're like Uber driver and they can't really do Uber anymore because you're in the same car with another person and that's not probably the safest thing to do right now. Uh, but for those conditions, you kind of learn how to navigate through that and apply on behalf of your clients and uh, get paid the commissions and things like that. So I just released that training. So if you're considering on um, becoming a business loan broker through the blueprint system, but you kind of been maybe holding back because you don't know how this whole thing is going to play out and you don't really know what's happening, how, how what's happening affecting uh, our industry. Um, I release a lot of content. Like I suggest you check out the video above I'm going to post here on how, how much money our members are making in our community. I put together a video right here for you. And also you can check my last video on how, what, what's happening is affecting our industry. There's so many funding opportunities because don't forget that the business we're in is providing money to small businesses and startups. So if that's the case, well, do you think they need money right now? Heck yeah. They need money right now more than ever. And we're in a position to help them with that. So if you're going to be in any business right now, I think the best business to be in is the business of helping other people get money. And when you look at your options, I mean, when this thing is over, how are you going to feel about going back to your job? Knowing that, well, one day you had a job and the next day maybe you don't have it anymore. What are the guarantees of that not happening again? Wouldn't that be a better idea for you to be in business for yourself and be a business in an industry that's recession proof and that survived multiple recessions in the past and that offers the sexiest product? 
Like, honestly, it is all about the demand. Like if you're starting a business and if you, if your goal is to sell cassette players and some of you might not even know what that is, I'm aging myself. Well, there is no demand for that. So you might be the best sales guy or girl, and you might have the best looking website, best marketing funnel. If what you're selling is not in demand, I'm sorry, but you're in trouble. You're not going to survive. You're going to go out of business. You don't start a business because you feel like doing, uh, offering something, uh, or maybe you, you're good at baking stuff. And like, that's not a good motivation to start a business. You want to start a business because well, there is demand for, for the product you're offering. And you know that for the foreseeable future, there's going to be demand for the product you're offering. And third, there's going to be more supply um, than demand. And that's exactly what we're going through right now. I'm sorry, there's going to be more demand than the supply. So we have less brokers right now and a humongous need from almost anybody on planet Earth who needs money, right? So whether you're in the United States, United Kingdom, Canada, and you're looking to kind of take control of your own life and finances and, and build a massive organization, um, I think this is the perfect time to do that. You build your foundation, you get in front of the business, so you're becoming the forefront of these packages. And I can almost guarantee that there are going to be more uh, stimulus packages being approved. This is not going to be enough. Uh, but when that happens, you want to be the person, the guy or the girl who, who's offering that to your customers, helping people out, get what they need to get. Uh, so if that's what you want to do, and there's a link below this video, I suggest you, I have a free training on how this business works. Um, you can check it out and at the end decide if you want to be a part of this or not. But I wanted to come out and give you a little information as to what's going on with the stimulus packages. Again, you have the $1,200 paycheck per person. You have um, this disaster relief fund that can give you a, a loan and also the $10,000. And a lot of people are applying for $10,000 part of that and payroll protection program. Uh, and again, at SBA has other programs too that that's really not relevant for us to get into it right now. But I suggest you personally take, take advantage of them. But also think of this, like entrepreneurs always look at things from different angles. Don't look at it just from a consumer's angle. Obviously, you got to take care of your family, your budget, your bank account. That's what I'm saying. Get what you can get while you can get it. This is first come, first serve. Uh, but at the same time, think about how you can position yourself to be a winner and take advantage of this and help others do the same thing because um, like, like never before people are looking to find someone they can trust who can guide them through processes like that, right? It's going to be very, very important. All right. So I'm not going to, I don't want to make it too long. If you have any comments or your thoughts, please post it below this video and I'm going to answer them one by one. Uh, take care. Bye-bye.